Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Forgecraft the Mod Pack with me, Technojock. The last time we were here I had uh, set up our first turbine, which is going quite happily, and in between episodes I said I was going to set up the second and third turbines. They are going, they're happily generating power, but we haven't actually connected them up to our system yet, but we don't have very much connected up that's running just now anyway, so that's not a huge issue. Uh, what I wanted to do today was I wanted to do some Thorncraft stuff, and I'm just back from uh, recharging my wand a little bit. I've been over there and mapped out some nodes, a um, little bit low on Ordo and Ignis, um, but not too bad at the moment. There's a few things I want to do, so... One of the main things that I wanted to get into doing was finally getting around to getting our ever full urns for our Petal Pothecary and for our Crucible. Now, in order to do that, you need to do... If I can bring it up... Uh, where is it? It's up in here. And it's an infusion recipe. So... Um, So, uh, yeah, we need to get our infusion altar set up. Which I have done. So I'm quite liking this setup here. So, um, not quite sure about that night ore on top of there. I might get rid of that and put something else there. The gaseous illumine, I think, would be pretty cool for that. What is it? That stuff. So this is an invisible light source that spreads out. Um, and we just need a few bits and bobs to do that, but that's not for just now. We need to get this up and running, and if we have a look at our recipe for this, we need ourselves 20 aqua, 4 precontatio, and 8 vacuous. Small problem with that, we can make void jars, but we don't have any way of getting the stuff from the void jars over to, or from the uh, alimbic over to the actual jars. We could pipe it, but that's an awful lot of work. What we really want to do is we want to get some golems to do it for us. So I have opened up the golem tree a little bit. Um, I think we're going to go for these clay golems. They're fairly easy to get hold of. Um, we just need some bricks and some other bits and bobs in there. And uh, we... Uh, need to get our animation core which is the night ore and bricks to get the actual core itself and then uh, we need to get up to the alchemy core which is another infusion thing so we are going to have to do some some shifting around of jars and things but we shall keep it to a minimum uh, and in order to get up to that point you need the animation core for decanting um, which is our blank animation core with some water and void or aqua and vacuous but we've got a fair bit of this crucible crafting to go and we're going to end up with an awful lot of stuff floating around so before we get to that there was one more thing i was going to see if i could get and it's this so in order to craft this we need to get balanced shards an alchemical construct We've got essentia tubes, we've got wood, we've got iron, we can make a dispenser relatively easily. It's this alchemical construct and the balance shards. So we need valves and V filters and tubes. We've got the tubes again. We've got great wood planks we can do. And let's have a look at this. That's tubes. So that would be six tubes in total with two levers to get... Yes, because we need to have... Oh, that's very annoying when it does that. So we need... We've got four, six tubes. How many do we actually have? I think I've only got seven downstairs because I did craft eight, but I had a small incident with one. Yes, we've got seven. The balanced shards... I've got stuff on me for baking balance shards, and I've never made them this way before, so let's quickly fill this up and have a look at that. Whilst the um, that recipe, whilst the water heats up, let's have a look. We want these V-filters, which I have crafted, and they do have an exchange value, which is cool. So we need two of them. Um, we need 
great wood planks, which we can do. Uh, we need some iron. Um, and what was a dispenser again? But I don't have one of them. Nope. Let's have a look at this recipe. We've got our V filter, great wood planks, sentia tubes. We've got levers, that's what we need. Levers, lever, 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 lever. Two of those. That'll be fine. And then for this thing, it needed another tube. So we've got just enough and a dispenser. This is a dispenser that we need. Dispenser, which is probably just cobble a bow. That's it. I couldn't remember if it needed the bow or not. So cobble. That'll do. Redstone. And bow. Do we know how to make bows? No, we do not. Okay, I need string. We've got there. And some sticks. Okay, let's quickly make that and learn it. Down like that. Pop that there. I do want to make myself a bow, but I want to make myself a crossbow. Um, and I want to make that fairly shortly. Um, yeah, I need to get more of that as well. Okay, so we need a bow. And that. Just noticed I need some of that as well. Right. Let's make our dispenser. Is it that? I want dispenser. Let's do that. Okay, whilst that's doing, we're going to try our hand at making Balanced shards. Balanced shards are. Where are we? Where does it say about shards? Does it say? Don't know where it says about shards. Balanced shards are made by getting one of each aspect. So we've got Terra, Ordo, Ignis, Perdito, Air, and then the Aqua comes from the actual shard itself and that should only leave us with herba left over okay so let's go one two three and four in there one in there one two three and four like that and then okay that didn't work out exactly perfectly but it did get us two obviously something broke down or something Something broke down before we had a chance to uh, get it out. Let's get rid of that. But we only needed two, so that's fine. Now, let's have a look and see. Next bit. We need the two iron dispenser across the top. Oh, forgot my dispenser was being learnt, wasn't it? Okay, dispenser. There we go. Do that. And pop that in the middle there. We need... I've forgotten it again. I will remember. Oh, we still need this alchemical construct, of course, which is our stuff like that. So let's take this out. I need to take that out because that doesn't have nearly enough in it. So we need that and our tubes like that. And there you go there and there. And I think it was that, that. One, two, three, and four, like that, and like that. Perfect. One alchemical construct. Put that in the middle, along with our dispenser at the top. Put those there, and I think the one essential tube there. We need our balance shards on either side. What else was it? I can't remember now. 
just two planks of some description. Let's go get ourselves a couple of oak wood. And that'll be fine. Uh, oak planks. Two like that. We are going to need to make ourselves some more tubes to be able to connect this thing up. But put these in here. We have our Essentia Crystallizer, which is superb. Right. I want to take one of these things off. And I want to put that there, I think. No, not like that. Let's get our tubes first. Let's get that. So we need Quicksilver Drop, 2 Iron, Golden Glass. So let's get that stuff from here. So 2 Iron, some glass, some gold nuggets and Quicksilver. Hopefully we've got sufficient in our wand still. And pop that there, that there, that there, and uh, insufficient Ordo. It is Ordo that we're low on. Got sufficient in that one though, that's fine. Let's do that. And now we want to go pop that there. There we go, mark that round like that. Oh, I didn't know it would attach like that. Ooh, right. Well, let's stick something in there and see what happens. What shall we do first? Well, what do we need for what we're trying to make? Um, not that. We are trying to make golem stuff. We need humanus, which I happen to know is on rotten flesh. So let's try that. Rotten flesh. Two, three, and four. In fact, we'll make get eight because that will give us plenty and I forgot to get coal oh we've got coal in there I already loaded up okay so let's see what's this doing it is crystallizing the other stuff not the what is that stuff I can't remember now corpus there we go so that's gonna do okay and then I think it'll just fling it out and it'll land somewhere on the floor, but I've got my magnet on. So that's okay at the moment. It is going to take a little while. I would need an energized node with Terra on it. Now, what have I got out here? Aqua Perdito, Aqua... Uh, there was a Terra one, but it wasn't very good. Um, I don't really have anything. I did find a skeleton spawner, which I have got plans for. An Herba... I think I might need to go off and see if I can find myself a decent node. Corpus, there we go. But that's going to need, uh, mind you, one of those node stabilizers is going to need um, a bunch of stuff done to it, isn't it? So why don't I leave this running at the moment and we'll get the stuff that we need to be able to make our golems and our animation core. I'll need to get stuff for that we need water which i'll use lily pads for i think motus will be trapdoors precantatio we can use chiseled sandstone blocks that'll be fine for that um to make that water vacuous and um, we can use lily pads for one of those and we can use bowls bowls and yeah bowls for that lily pads for that that'll get us to the point of doing that as well and we'll need a little bit of Ignis and Fire for making that. We need Night Ore as well. So Fire Potentia, that'll be Coal and Torches. So we've got a fair bit of breaking stuff down to do. And this is just going to take its sweet time about it. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm going to take that one off there. So if I go and start loading this thing up, 
um, I shall uh, see you when I've got all the stuff. Okay, I have uh, started this thing off um, with a bunch of the stuff I'm going to need for all the different aspects. Um, and this is full, and it's busy working away. It's going to be pretty slow. Um, I stopped it from doing the corpus after a little while because I real realised that I didn't actually need the corpus, so what was the point of spending time doing that? But it's already got our spiritus that we're going to need, and it started on the potentia there, so that's great. I just thought that in the meantime, whilst that's doing that, rather than sit about idly and wait, let's nip off just now and get ourselves that skeleton spawner that I discovered earlier on. It's daytime just now, so it's an ideal time to do it, and I've nabbed myself a diamond dolly. Hello, golems. So if we do this, that'll be ideal timing. Oh, excellent. I hadn't noticed this one before. Oh, that's, that's a big one. Um, and we're all full up on that. Um, let's fill up that one as well. And let's mark it down. Whilst we're out and about, we may as well recharge our wand a little bit. Still to find myself a hungry node. Um, I haven't really done very much in terms of um, any mistcraft. Uh, it's got a little bit, it's not really worth very much. Oh, something else. I've missed all these ones. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, of course, this is a rubbishy wand. Oh, well. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Um, so, there it is. So, these things, these little straw men, wicker men, whatever you want to call them, have normally either a um, zombie spawner or a skeleton spawner. That'll do. I don't see why I should cover that back up. Um, let's go around and do that. So, my plans for this skeleton spawner are to have a mob trap, obviously. But I'm going to do it slightly differently. I'm going to put this mob trap into the nether. Because skeletons that spawn in the nether... Um, have a much higher chance of spawning as wither skeletons, which will hugely help us out when it comes time for spawning the wither. Um, so we can get lots of skulls that way. What's it I'm missing? It's Ordo. I don't think I've got any Ordo ones. Aqua, Aqua, Herba, Perdito. Really need an Ordo node. Okay, let me see if I can find myself a decent Ordo node, and I'll be back in a little bit. Just thought I'd pop back briefly, because I just discovered a new uh, a new aspect that I didn't even know existed. This Luxuria one. So I just scanned this node. It had a question mark on it. It came up, um, scanned it, and I've just got this Luxuria. So, uh, yeah, not seen that one before. Well, it looks like this is as good as I'm going to get at the moment. I'm not seeing very much else around just now. Um, I should really mark that one. Since it's one of the few that I've managed to find. Nodes do seem to be a little bit more common here. So, I'll keep going just now. Okay, that's me. I've got myself a, a full wand now. So, uh, hopefully... My base isn't chunk loaded, but hopefully I should have most of the stuff that I require now done. What's it doing? It's still in potential. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay. So it's still doing potential. It's still got lily pads to go. It really hasn't done an awful lot, right? 
Uh, no. We don't need that stuff. Let's get rid of that. Uh, we don't need arbor either. Don't need arbor. We do need lux. So that's fine if the lux is going to go in. That's going to be fine. Can I have to babysit this a little bit? But that's going to be for the potentia in a moment. Right, so... Let's get rid of some of the stuff that we've managed to acquire. And we're looking good. So we've got this diamond dolly with our monster spawn on it. So, on it. so what are we going to do with that? We need to go into the nether and we need to make ourselves a little uh, spawning area. So... Here's one I prepared earlier. So, we've got ourselves um, this area here. I've made some fans for it. And then um, those are turned on and off by this. Which I think is quite cool. So what we'll do is we'll have the uh, spawner in here in the middle. And it's going to be pushed over towards this area here where we're going to have some sort of killing area. Got windows in it so we can see what's going on as well. So that'll be fine. So we can jump down in here and we can hit the feet of the uh, skeletons and not get hurt. Um, I don't actually have another brick for that and need to fill in this hole as well but that's fine so we may as well should we put it in already uh, we kind of need to block that up with something shall we do it just now let's do it just now okay let's get our diamond dolly out let's fill in a couple of holes with just some uh, nether rack that we've got kicking around um, and we'll put in something there in just two seconds. So, pop that there, pop that there, and uh, let's see what happens. So let's let's turn that off just now. Let's see. Okay, so it's a normal skeleton. Let's turn that on. He's getting pushed over there. We're going to have to watch that. He's fighting against it. Okay. But we can get his attention and come over here. And that should work fine. So it's pushing me a little bit. Oh my word. It's pushing me a little bit. But that's certainly going to work. We didn't get any skulls from it. But um, we did get weather skeletons. So what I want to do is... Um, I'll get myself some sort of beheading cleaver thing. We could make ourselves a Tinker's um, cleaver that's going to behead things. This isn't too bad, actually, in terms of being able to do this. Might be nicer if they got pushed into the corner a little bit more, but that's okay. That's kind of pushing things along okay. So yeah, that's uh, that's successful. Again, I'll want to have. Oh. Cool. Yeah, I'll want to have something blocking off this. I'll get some dark glass or something. Um. But I think that's a pretty successful build just now. We've got treasure as well. Let's have a look and see what that is. Uh, rib bones, we've got oh, ender pearl, little bits and bobs, we've got some sort of potion of harming, it's, it's not a splash potion though. Okay, let's see if we can get ourselves a skull from this batch, and let's head back. Still no skull, but we will work on a cleaver, I think. Get ourselves a cleaver for doing that. That's a successful build though. 
not finished. I wanted to put in there. But that'll be pretty handy once it's done. Somebody's having a bad day here, I can hear. And it looks like we've already got locks going through this. Yeah, it is taking its time, but that's fine. We're going to get that. So, I think we're looking around about the wrap-up time. I think what I'll do is I'm going to pause at the moment and wait until this stuff's done. It's going to take quite some time. And then uh, once we've got that, we'll make our golem and our animation core. How's that? Okay, our crystallizer is still crystallizing over there quite happily. And I have put together the bits I require for my cleaver. I had some thormium sitting about in a box. I've got my shiny, I've got my slime tough rod, I've got my paper thing. There we have this. So this is going to do a fair amount of damage and a 20% chance to behead straight off the bat. I've used paper and thormium, so I have five modifiers remaining for that one. So if we get obsidian and ender pearls, obsidian, and I think there's five of that, isn't it? And pearls, four and five of them. Now obviously we'll have the other modifiers that we can put onto this thing. I haven't given it a name yet. I'm not altogether sure what I wanted to name this as yet. Um, but that's going to give us up to 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%, and that will be 70%. So, what is our. Um, we need gold block, which will be nine of these, and then a diamond. I think it is. Let's make the gold block. I think it's this, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. And then I think it's a golden apple. So we'll need that and more gold. In fact, we need a bunch more gold because it's uh, gold blocks, isn't it? And uh, let's make gold blocks and learn it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For that, I'm going to need diamond. Is that a diamond block? I'm pretty sure it's a diamond block we need for that. So let's learn the golden apple as well. And um, this should, golden apple, like that, hopefully this is it, I can't remember if it is or not, but it should be, some yeah, there we go. So that gives us another two modifiers, another two obsidian and two pearls, two obsidian two pearls. This should, I think that takes us up to 80%. So that's 80%, 90%. And if we get a nether star on that as well, then that will give us 100% chance. And how's this doing? It started on the Essence, we've got the Humanus, it has done one Herba, but we've got this stuff going in as well, so what we've got, we've got Motus, Ignis, Terra, it's got four Herba that we don't need, but Aqua, Perdito and Precantatio we do. So it's got that Vacuous in there as well, it's doing quite happily at the moment. Let's pop back through and quickly see how we get on with our shiny cleaver, shall we? Okay, let's hang around here and wait for some of these to spawn. And let's see what this cleaver makes of them. 
got plenty of soul sand here as well, so the weather is going to be pretty uh, easy to get going fairly quickly. Well, two for two isn't too bad. So one more and we'll be able to get our uh, our get our wither on. So let's uh, kind of loiter around here, see if we can manage to get another wither skeleton to spawn. Get ourselves another wither skeleton skull and that'll be all set for next time out as well. There we go. three skulls and four skulls so that's actually been a hundred percent so far so that's brilliant I've been having myself a thought actually about this and about how we can uh, do a little bit better than we're doing with these fans and I was thinking about um, this kinetic attractor. If we get that, we're going to need to work a little bit harder towards that because we need wand focus of telekinesis, which is um, another um, infusion crafting. But other than that, that's not too difficult to get. So if we work towards our infusion crafting with what we've got at the moment, then we will be in a good place. So, alright, let's kill these ones. Oh my word, look at that. We've got enough now for two withers easily. Maybe. Wow, right. Okay, this is a little bit OP, but that's good. Let's go back and see how we're getting on with our uh, crystallized essence. Okay then. This has been uh, going for quite some time now. It's still got a bunch of vacuous to go through and a bunch of other stuff. So I'm going to leave it to run. I'm going to wrap up just now. I think that's a good point to do it. We've got wither skeleton skulls for days. We will uh, be able to do something about the wither itself shortly. I'm going to come up with some way of spawning that safely. And um, then we can get our first nether star and maybe get our flight ring next time out which would be quite nice so um, next time I think we'll get the wither fight done we will hopefully have all this stuff done for getting our golem on the go and um, then we can start filling up some jars as well in between times as well I'm going to look for some more nodes and see if I can get myself a giant terra node to power this as well once we get to the point of being able to infuse up some node stabilizers and node transducers then uh, we'll get this working a lot faster for ourselves and get our thomcraft on the go meantime as well we'll have a look for uh, a hungry node whilst we're at it as well hmm that's nice so until the next time cheery bye bye bye